Hey, today we're gonna to be going over the new Osram CBN. It's actually a CBI update. And I've got that bulb on the right-hand side that's available in all of the sizes. It's on our website in D2S, D3S, and D1S currently. And it's basically a part of Osram's updated uh, product line. And uh, I've got the CBB right next to us here. And if you uh, check it out, you can see the off-road only uh, packaging on there. The, uh, the symbol is a little bit more apparent and uh, they're trying to make people aware that these are technically not road legal bulbs. And in Europe, that is uh, taken much more seriously. So even if you're in the United States and you're interested in a street legal bulb, uh, the CBB is probably not for you. And uh, the new CBI um, next gen bulb, which is going under the CBN name, is available now. And that's what we're gonna be going over, showing you guys uh, the intensity differences. We might show you some color differences, but it's not gonna be a color comparison. It's basically gonna be a quick product review and what you can expect out of the new CBN. So we've lined up uh, all the popular bulbs that Osram offers. You got the laser, the CBI, the CBN, and the CBB, and we've got a hard mounted uh, G5 BRT projector. And the reason why we're using that is because we don't want any variances in this test. Uh, it uses a good solid bolt holder and that bolt holder allows per as precise fitment as possible. So we're trying to remove any variables out of this. And uh, we're gonna start off with the Osram laser. We're gonna pop it into the uh, projector. We're gonna wait about 45 seconds and you'll see what the lux meter does on the wall. At about 35, 40 seconds, it'll fully stabilize and that'll give us uh, nice consistent readings. So the Lux meter is uh, ready to go. We're starting from the lowest point of the color temperature scale. Uh, and the Osram laser is rated at 4,200 Kelvin. Uh, just for comparison's sake, the, uh, the CBI was rated up to 6,000, the new CBN up to 6,200 Kelvin, and the CBB up to 7,000 Kelvin. So only a small difference uh, in color temperature, but Osram says it's using different technology and it's gonna achieve much better results with the CBN bulb. And we're gonna see exactly how that plays out. Um, so can you tell a 200, 200 color temperature difference? Uh, it's probably gonna be difficult unless you had them side by side. Even then, um, you know, it's, it's a small difference, but the main difference is in the performance. And we've hit about uh, 45 seconds, and you can see the Ostrom laser is ending off at about 520 lux. So we're gonna move on to the next bulb, which is gonna be our Ostrom CBI. Uh, again, the CBI has been out longer than any of these bulbs, and it was uh, one of Ostrom's main kind of novelty bulbs. Uh, it's, it stands for Cool Blue Intense. And I think a lot of people got the Ostrom CBI and they might've been disappointed in the color temperature because of, uh, you know, of, um, it, it wasn't really blue, even though it was marketed as a cool blue intense bulb. And uh, sometimes it didn't even change too much from the old worn out bulb that it, uh, you know, replaced in terms of color temperature, but the performance was much better. So people confused that and maybe that's why they weren't super satisfied with that. So again, we've got the CBI, the old true and trusty CBI bulb on right now. And we're gonna let it get to about 45 seconds. And we'll see, uh, see where that ends off. So you can see it's slowly kind of working down and sometimes it picks up and eventually it stabilizes. And right at about 45 seconds, we're at 499 lux. Still climbing. So we're gonna move on to the next bulb, which is the new Osram CBN. And Osram markets this as a brighter bulb than the bulb that it replaces. Uh, you might have seen other reviews. You'll probably watch other reviews on this product. Everybody's gonna have a different way of testing. And uh, just take this review uh, with a grain of salt. You cannot compare these Lux figures to any other review that you see on the internet or somebody else doing reviews. It all depends on uh, you know, how long it's been tested for, the age of the bulb, the distance that these uh, readings are taken in. That's why we're doing it real time so you can see for yourself what the, uh, the differences are between this full bulb range. And we've tried to take out any variables 
But again, this is the new CBN. It's a little bit wider than the CBI. And we're gonna wait for that, uh, that 45 second mark, which is coming up pretty soon. And we're ending off at about 494 lux. And we're gonna move on to the, uh, so one of the newest bulbs is the Ostrom CBB. That stands for a cool blue boost. Again, rated up to 7,000 Kelvin. Probably one of the most popular bulbs right now, simply because uh, people like the color. They're used to modern day LED lighting. And especially a lot of the bi-xenon projectors nowadays are coated. It warms up the color temperature. This bulb is a really solid choice for somebody that's looking for that kind of modern day LED extra white look. Um, but some people, you know, they, uh, their feedback is that it's not great in, the, uh, in, in inclement weather or rain. And that is a valid point. Sometimes too much blue light is, uh, is not exactly what you need when you're looking for performance lighting. So we're gonna wait that full 45 seconds. You know, you might see people testing bulbs at 10, 20 seconds. Our eyes really can't see these differences if you've been uh, looking at the cutoff but it does change pretty rapidly. So the CBB ended off stabilized right at about 447 lux. And that pretty much sums up our review in terms of the uh, lux comparison. Uh, you know, stay tuned for more updates on these bulbs. We'll probably do a color comparison test uh, in, the, in the near future. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think. Thanks again.